you're not lazy, your testosterone is quietly being stolen, and no one bothered to tell you. Ever wake up feeling like you were hit by a truck in your sleep? You stumble to the kitchen like a half-dead zombie, praying your coffee will awaken the inner lion. But the only thing it wakes up is your belly fat and jitters. You've been told to eat breakfast as soon as possible to save your muscles and boost testosterone. But what if, hear me out, eating all day long is the silent villain castrating your hormonal drive? That's exactly why today's video is called What Happens to Testosterone When Men Use Intermittent Fasting Long Term. Don't worry, I'm not selling you chia seeds, protein powders, or infrared lamps. We're breaking down the science in the funniest, most brutally honest way possible to reveal why your testosterone hasn't disappeared. It's just been muted by insulin and outdated eating habits. Subscribe if you want your energy, muscles, and masculinity back. No magic pills required. And stick around till the end. The best part comes after minute 8. Here's the truth. The real culprit, silently killing your testosterone, isn't aging, lack of exercise, or your ex. It's chronic insulin, the hormonal thief, disguised as healthy eating advice. Let's be honest. The average man today follows the sacred six-meal routine. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. But despite constantly fueling up, you feel drained, foggy, and far from masculine. Why? Because constantly elevated insulin means your hormonal system never gets to reset. And worse, it blocks the essential communication between your brain and testicles. Hypothalamus. Hey, testicles. Produce testosterone. Insulin. Not on my watch, buddy. Yes. Insulin becomes a biological bouncer, blocking hormonal messages like it's guarding a VIP club. The result? Testosterone production crashes without you even realizing it. Now, let's say you try intermittent fasting. Suddenly, your body freaks out. No food? Emergency. It's every 42? Cortisol floods your system. Welcome to the stress gap. In this phase, testosterone temporarily drops. Your body shifts into survival mode. It pauses reproduction. It prioritizes fuel hunting, not baby making. This is where most men quit. Fasting killed my hormones. They panic and run back to breakfast at 7 a.m. like nothing happened. But don't be fooled. This is the demolition phase before renovation. Just like tearing down a wall before building a better house, you must face a bit of mess. Coming up next, what happens after the stress gap? Can testosterone rebound stronger? Spoiler, yes. But first, you need to survive the dip to earn the rise. One of the biggest reasons men quit fasting early is this terrifying experience. They feel drained, sex drive plummets, strength vanishes, motivation evaporates, and they think, fasting wrecked my hormones. It's digressed. I feel weak because I'm not eating. But here's the truth. That drop isn't a malfunction. It's a survival feature. Your body doesn't know you're fasting on purpose. It thinks you're facing a food shortage, a crisis. And when survival is on the line, your adrenal glands go into overdrive, pumping out cortisol. More cortisol, less testosterone. Not because something broke, but because your body is strategically reallocating energy. Testosterone, libido, muscle building, those are luxuries when your biology thinks you're starving. This is what scientists call the stress gap the temporary hormonal dip when your body panics. You feel weak, flat, and unmotivated, but that's not decline. That's your nervous system switching into hunt mode. Just like when your paycheck stops, you don't plan a vacation. Your body puts reproduction and aesthetics on pause and focuses on survival. And here's the plot twist. Once your system adjusts, usually after 7 to 14 days, testosterone sensitivity spikes. Your androgen receptors, the ears of your cells, become clearer, sharper, more responsive. You may not be producing more testosterone, but now, your body finally knows how to listen to it. Fasting doesn't destroy testosterone. It reboots the system. Once you push through the stress gap, the one to two week cortisol spike, something incredible begins to unfold. You start waking up sharper, 
more grounded. Your body feels tighter, leaner. Your mind? Razor sharp. But here's the kicker. Your blood test may not show a major testosterone spike. So why do you feel more masculine, more powerful? Because this isn't just about how much testosterone you have, it's about how well your body uses it. Testosterone is a signal. And that signal needs receivers. Your androgen receptors are on muscle and nerve cells. When insulin and cortisol drop, as they do with consistent fasting, these receptors become hypersensitive. It's like cleaning the fog off a mirror. Same signal, but now it hits clearly, cleanly, potently. Same testosterone, more results. More muscle responsiveness. Faster recovery. Libido returns not as impulse, but as controlled energy. University of Virginia research backs this up. Men practicing intermittent fasting didn't show big changes in testosterone quantity, but showed dramatic increases in androgen receptor activity. This means you're getting more from what you already have. Like clearing traffic for your army, you don't need more troops, just a better route. You're no longer trying to be a man. You're feeling like one, naturally because your biology has finally stopped fighting itself. When people think of testosterone, they usually picture muscles, masculinity, and raw strength. But here's what most don't realize. For testosterone to truly shine, it needs a silent but powerful partner growth hormone, GH. Think of testosterone as the architect, the one with the blueprint for male performance and vitality. GH? That's the construction crew. And the trigger that gets them both working in harmony? Strategic fasting, no supplements, no steroids, just biology doing what it was designed to do. When you fast for 16 to 24 hours, your pituitary gland unleashes GH at an explosive rate, up to 2, 0% increase in some clinical studies. This isn't a glitch, it's a survival mechanism. GH protects your hard-earned muscle and mobilizes fat as fuel, making sure your body doesn't burn muscle when food is scarce. So even while you're not eating, your body is preserving muscle and burning fat more efficiently. But the real transformation happens when GH and testosterone work together. GH preserves and fuels the process, while testosterone builds. GH is the fuel crew. Testosterone is the builder. Together, they create a high-performance system. Leaner physique, sharper mind, more stable energy, and all this can happen even if your total testosterone levels barely change. Why? Because your androgen receptors, the tiny docking stations in your cells, become more sensitive. So your body responds more powerfully to the same amount of testosterone. It's like upgrading your speakers suddenly. Even normal volume sounds louder and richer. Scientific studies from journals like the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism confirm that intermittent fasting increases androgen receptor expression in muscle tissue. So you're not just producing hormones, you're using them better. Bottom line, if you thought only protein shakes and gym time could make you stronger, think again. Science now shows us another path, one that starts not with what you eat, but with when you don't. When you stop eating for an extended period, your brain doesn't slow down, it wakes up. Your body activates a sophisticated survival mechanism honed over thousands of years. It floods your system with dopamine and norepinephrine. These aren't just random feel-good chemicals, they are the fuel of the hunter's mind. As dopamine rises, you don't just feel good, you feel driven. As norepinephrine kicks in, you're not just awake, you're razor sharp. This unique blend of focus, clarity, and fire is what researchers call the hunter's high, the state of a predator in pursuit, not a man starving. Fasting doesn't make you weak. It activates ancient neural software that once helped your ancestors stalk, strike, and survive without a single snack. Your body isn't panicking. It's upgrading your tactical firmware. And the result? A focused, cold-blooded mind ready to dominate. But that's not all. As belly fat melts, something even more powerful happens. The activity of the enzyme aromatase drops. Aromatase is the silent thief. It converts testosterone into estrogen, slowly draining away your masculine edge. The more belly fat you have, the more aromatase steals from you. But when the fat goes, testosterone remains untouched, pure, potent, and fully yours. 
The outcome? A full-spectrum awakening. The mind of a hunter. The body of a warrior. Not because you added something, but because you finally removed what was weakening you. One of the biggest fears men have when fasting is this. I'm going to lose all my muscle. But here's the truth. Your body isn't stupid. It doesn't destroy its most valuable asset lean muscle just because you skipped a few meals. Instead, when you enter a fasting state, your body activates a powerful biological mechanism called autophagy. Autophagy doesn't mean eating yourself, as many misunderstand. It's like an elite microscopic janitorial crew sweeping through your system, targeting and dismantling cellular junk, damaged proteins, malfunctioning mitochondria, and aged cells. It doesn't go after muscle, it goes after garbage. Muscle is preserved because your body knows it's vital for survival and movement. If you look in the mirror during the first week and think you've shrunk, it's not muscle loss. It's water weight. Your muscles store glycogen, and glycogen holds water. When glycogen drops, so does water. The shrinking is just fluid release. But here's the magic. As inflammation decreases, your muscles look denser, harder, more defined. The puffy, inflamed look disappears. What remains is lean, high-performance tissue. Bottom line. Fasting doesn't destroy your gains. It cleans the house, upgrades your cells, and optimizes performance. That's why elite athletes, fighters, and Nobel-winning scientists alike hail autophagy as the biological superweapon for strength, longevity, and renewal. In the world of fasting, there's an underappreciated side effect, one that transforms not just your metabolism, but your vascular, neural, and sexual systems. At the center of this transformation are two overlooked molecules, nitric oxide and dopamine. Nitric oxide, the silent force behind blood flow and performance. Nitric oxide, NO, is a signaling molecule naturally produced by the inner lining of your blood vessels. When you fast, insulin drops, blood sugar stabilizes, and NO production increases. What does NO do? It dilates blood vessels, improving circulation to muscles, the brain, and your reproductive organs. It enhances erectile strength and duration, naturally. It supports heart function and athletic performance. Fasting reduces vascular inflammation, improving NO's function. You don't need pills. Just let your endothelium breathe. Dopamine. The motivation molecule. Reawakened. We live in a world of dopamine overload. Fast food. Caffeine. Screens. Endless stimulation. Your dopamine receptors become desensitized. Pleasure becomes dull. But when you fast, you accidentally perform a natural dopamine reset. Dopamine is no longer hijacked by constant food spikes. Your receptors become sensitive again. You regain joy, motivation, and focus. After just three to five days of intermittent fasting, you'll feel it. Food tastes better, sex feels more intense, and your emotions come back to life. Fasting isn't just physical detox. It's neurological and hormonal resurrection. As no rises to blood flow surges, as dopamine resets to your brain wakes up, as belly fat drops to aromatase, which turns testosterone into estrogen, is suppressed. The result? You don't just maintain testosterone. You maintain your primal essence, no prescriptions needed. Fasting isn't a diet. It's a biological switch unlocking a forgotten survival skill. Metabolic flexibility. Picture your body as a hybrid car. When it runs out of gas, glucose, it smoothly switches to electric, fat. No crash, no panic. But most people today run on sugar alone. Skip a meal, and they crash tired, moody, craving sweets. Not because they're weak, but because the body forgot how to burn fat. Strategic fasting reteaches your cells. When insulin drops, your body burns fat automatically. Hunger becomes logical. Energy stays stable. Mental fog lifts. This is true freedom. Freedom from sugar addiction. Freedom from fake hunger. Freedom to eat when you choose, not when your hormones scream for a fix. Once you master this switch, weight loss is just a side effect. What you reclaim is control of your inner operating system.
If your body ever felt like it's running on a code you don't understand, this channel is here to help you decode yourself. We don't chase short-term trends. We dig deep into real biology, fat, insulin, dopamine, sleep, and energy to rebuild your body from the inside out. If you believe knowledge can transform your biology, and biology is the foundation of every other dream hit, subscribe. Each video is not just information, but a map guiding you back to your natural balance. Your body is waiting to be understood. Don't let it speak through fatigue, stubborn fat, or disease. Start with one small click and begin a life-changing journey.